I saw a comment the other day from a mature student who is looking to study radiography and one of my audience said he was in a similar situation last year. He was doing a double degree of finance and civil engineering and in his final year he decided that he wanted to do radiography. So let's find out why he did that and how he is going so far. What is your experience like so far doing radiography as your second university degree? I think the biggest advantage that I've had is having gone to university before. There's a lot of students students that are, that are in my class that are first time u university students. And of course, oh. I remember when I was a first year university student, the transition is a little bit tricky in having to just be a lot more independent, knowing how the whole system works, knowing how to take notes effectively, things like that. I kind of already knew that. And that's definitely given me an advantage over someone that's brand new to university. I'm very happy with my performance, I guess, just like academically this year so far, a lot better than oh. when I was first in university. And I don't think I would have been able to, to have that sort of performance if I wasn't already a university student before. Like I've kind of worked things out, especially because I tutor a lot of year 12 students. That is their concern is about, oh, I need to get into this course because this is the best course or I don't know what I want to do so I'm going to do this they, they're really concerned about that and I always kind of tell them like I use my experience as an example like I did engineering and finance which are two different fields that work well together but now I'm doing radiography which are two fields that are kind of very separate it's fine if you experiment in a few different fields and eventually find the one that you that you want to do part of me wishes that like out of school you were like forced to take like a gap year to like work out what you want to do yeah <laughs> More than half of yes. the university students that I've like ever met have changed course at some point. You know, like everyone thinks of what they, they want to do when they're like 17, then they feel like they're stuck. Of course, that they're, they're, they're doing that they, they don't want to do. They're like, like, they think like, I'm already like 20 years old. Like I'm already two years behind the people that are just graduating school. It's like, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. In fact, that's probably an advantage. By the time you graduate, you'll only be 25. If you're, if you're going to be a radiographer to, you know, ra radiographers you can, can be work quite old. 60s. Yeah, like, like in your 60s, that's still like a 40 year career. That's that's pretty good but like if, if your intention is to do this career until you retire it's like what is a couple of years it's not really anything so is it like your second chance to do better in university when i first went to university and was doing engineering and finance my one regret was not being involved in like things as much uh relating oh, to yes. the, the careers so this yeah. year i've tried you know if something comes up if i get a uni email saying do you want to do this yes i do mm. for example all the university careers have to be accredited as you know and so recently i was part of an accreditation meeting um it was just a voluntary thing where the mrpba wanting student input on the course i'm not gonna lie it was a little bit nerve wracking with the accreditation meeting that i went to because you've got some very high up people there now obviously i'm not going to get any like networking value out of that because they were just asking about the course they weren't really like asking any questions about me in particular, but it's just getting used to those environments. And also I've noticed that radiography compared to like, especially like engineering or finance is a very niche field. So the more networking that you can do, the better, because chances are someone is going to know someone that might get you like a better opportunity or might give you information that, that will help you in the future in terms of like career progression. Or, even though I'm only in first year, right? Um, I don't have really any experience compared to even final year university students. Putting yourself out at, like, like out there as early as you can, which we'll give you the most opportunities. What kind of information about radiography were you looking for? Just like, what do you do? <laughs> Maybe you've had an x-ray before. They kind of just take your scan and say, okay, you're, you, you can kind of go. It's like, you're not really sure what the actual job is. Then career paths was very a very big option to consider because uh, in choosing any career, you want to know what the, the paths that you can take are. Wage rates were part of my consideration, but I was able to find them pretty quickly. I then university courses, but again, I've come to realize it doesn't really matter. It's, if any students are still wondering what you actually do in university in, in radiography, most universities have a course structure on their website. So I yeah. use that and I, was, I would read a description of each subject that I would be taking to know what I'm learning, right? Maybe realize there's a lot of placement in radiography, more than I would say most health professions. Um, no, not a lot, but some students in first year, they leave because they realize how much patient care is involved. They just think radiographers kind of just use the machines, press the buttons and things like that. It's like, no. <laughs> A, a very big part of the job is actually yeah. helping patients, which is part of the reason why I enjoy it. What was the GPA score you needed to get into radiography? Now, my yeah. uni grades, especially when I was doing engineering, the average
average grade for engineering, the GPA is like a five and mine was about that. It, it wasn't anything amazing. But I think part of the reason why I, I still got into radiography is because they could see with someone with that experience, like university experience and the, the background in science that I had would probably do very well. I was told by the university that I was previously at that uh, in order to for students to switch to radiography, they needed a seven GPA, which I didn't have. And they're like, oh yeah, we probably can't, you know, you, you probably can't uh, apply then. Funnily enough, now I do have a seven GPA, so <laughs> just take that. Let's talk about money. Which profession do you think pay better? I would say the graduate salary is pretty average for finance graduates, especially if you go and find like a, a government job. And the ceiling is very high though. You, you could go and earn a lot of money. For radiographers and other health practitioners, it's actually higher, about 10,000 higher when you graduate than engineers. <laughs> Graduates in, so, so these are Queensland rates. Um, you can uh -uh. find these online. I'm sure you could find these for other states too. The public rates for a graduating radiographer in a public hospital is about I think the base salary is like 78,000 a year. And for engineering, it would probably be something like 70,000 maybe. The other thing though, is that with engineering, you, you can earn a lot of money, um, oh. but that requires you to really work until you're in a management role. Like, and that yeah. was never really a, a factor that I was considering because at the end of the day, I like doing my job. And I like, in the case of radiography, I'm looking forward to helping people directly rather than like overseeing. Looking at the roster, um, applying yeah, for finance, yeah. for fundings and all that. Yeah. I understand that you decided to finish your finance degree. Why is that? Having something like a business or finance degree, let's yeah. just say, if in the future I did want to do a management role, comparing applicants, it might make me stand out a, a tiny bit because it's kind of unique, right? There's not, I, I feel like there's not too many people with a finance degree and a radiography degree. Uh, so. I do know one person who was in my year level who did an MBA as well. Oh, really? Um, oh, sorry, he did an MBA after his radiography degree. Then I think he's aiming toward becoming the chief radiographer in the hospital. Right. Does your engineering background give you any advantage in the radiography course? In terms of the physics that you do in radiography, you've seen most of the stuff before. There was things like even on like electrical safety and things like that. So I felt I was very comfortable with that. I know that in some of the subjects that I'm yet to do, there's some maths involved. Fortunately, yes. I, um, uh, I'm very used to maths with engineering. I think engineering kind of forces you to be very good at maths and uh, physics and solving uh -huh. problems. Of course, there's no anatomy and physiology in engineering. So that was completely new to me but I'm really enjoying it. Although this might sound abstract, I think there's one reason why someone might pursue engineering. They kind of like to know how everything works. Um, I feel yeah. like with anatomy and physiology, that's kind of similar because the body's kind of this big machine and I'm learning yeah. kind of all the intricacies of um, especially the function of the body, how it actually works and how complicated the body is. And of course, in radiography, there's a lot of anatomy that you have to learn. Although it's a different topic, I can kind of apply the same mindset to that. I imagine that in the finance and engineering world, you might work on a project for weeks, months, or even years. Whereas in radiography, you do the work in the hospital and there's nothing you need to bring back home to work on. So what do you think about all of this work-life balance? There was a huge aspect of me choosing radiography that I, I like schedules. I'm quite a scheduled person. I like just doing this, focusing on this and then doing something else. So in terms of engineering, you know, you, you, you or in finance especially, you're going to probably be taking phone calls after work and, and, and all the uh -huh. rest of it and doing admin and, and, and all that stuff. So <laughs> I kind of like having, you know, I'm in work mode and now I'm not. Finally, what is your final thought after studying radiography? radiography for a year. Something that's really helped me, uh, especially with keeping my, my grades uh, high, is I know exactly why I'm doing radiography and I know I yeah. have the motivation why. I'm not just learning things to pass, I'm learning things yeah. because I need to know this to care for a yeah. patient, right? And that's quite, something that I quite like about radiography. It's structured in a way to where everything kind of makes sense why you're learning it at a certain point. Things like a, a finance degree or engineering, there, there are like elements of that, but a lot of the time they're just doing like a, a subject because you need to tick it off the, uh, the list. For example, in engineering, uh, I did a traffic and transport engineering subject. And then the next semester I was doing a geotechnical engineering subject, completely different fields. You kind of just learn subjects uh, in kind of a weird way. Whereas with radiography, I know that the 
the anatomy that I'm learning now and the patient care skills I'm learning now will be important when I go on placement. And I'm going, I need to know these things, uh, otherwise I won't be able to, to do my job properly. And I think anyone who's looking to switch into radiography, I would really only recommend it if you have a motivation that relates to the career. I, I wouldn't just do it because oh, it, it kind of sounds good or it looks good or the ATAR requirement's really high, so it must be like a good career. With radiography, nursing, you need to have that motivation to do well and to like your job. You have to really want to care for patients. You also have to like the in the, the intricacies of your job. Like uh, I, I actually like using the machines and, and things like that. Thank you so much for oversharing your experience with us. I hope the student will watch this video and find something helpful. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See you, Zach. Cheers.